Today we're going to talk about two hormones that are made in the adrenal glands. And the adrenal glands are located on top of your kidneys. So these are your kidneys. And they're sort of triangular shaped glands which put out a number of hormones and we're only going to talk about two of those hormones today. So the adrenal gland has a couple of layers. So actually it has two main areas which are different, one part in the middle here, which is called the medulla, and one part on the outside, which is called the cortex. So these are the two main areas, but in addition, the cortex is divided into three different layers. And we'll draw them out here. They actually have some fancy names which we'll give them, just so you can recognize them in the future. So this outer layer right here is called the zona, glomerulosa. And the second layer we're going to talk about is the middle layer just below the zona glomerulosa and this layer is called the zona fasciculata and I'll write that out here. And the third layer which is actually not relevant to what we're going to talk about today but I just want to mention it for completeness the third layer is called the zona reticularis. And you'll notice that from outside in, the names begin with G, F, R. And you can remember that because that's also the abbreviation for glomerular filtration rate. And you should be able to think of one hormone that the adrenal gland makes because we've been talking about it. Can you guess what it is? It's aldosterone. So aldosterone is made in the outer layer, the zona glomerulosa. And the other hormone we're going to talk about Maybe you don't know what it is or where it's made, so I'll tell you. It's cortisol. So cortisol is made in this second layer here. And one thing I want to mention is that cortisol is part of a class of hormones, you could say, called glucocorticoids. And there's logic behind that name. The corticoid part is because it comes from the adrenal cortex. And the gluco part is because cortisol is involved in glucose metabolism. Now likewise, aldosterone is part of a group of hormones that have a similar name. And it's also made in the cortex, so it's also called a corticoid. But aldosterone is not involved in sugar metabolism, so it's not a glucocorticoid. Aldosterone is involved with salt, with sodium and potassium. And those are all minerals, so aldosterone is a mineralo. Corticoid. And while we're at it, we should also talk about what's made in the medulla, since that'll also come up later in the tutorial. I'll give you a chance to guess in your head. Do you know? Well, it's actually epinephrine and also norepinephrine. We'll draw norepinephrine almost the same. And finally, I'll just mention in case you're curious, although you don't need to remember this, so I won't write it down. I'll just mention that zona reticularis makes androgens, so those are like male sex hormones.